All right, everyone, what should I do with my marine aquarium? That is the question. A lot of people are, are recommending I should do this, I should do that, because of certain situation that's going on in the aquarium. A lot of you guys already know what's going on. I think it's the typical thing of an aquarium maturing and coming into its own ecosystem. I just got off of a full week vacation, uh, which was well needed. As a lot of you guys know, I did live streams down there. You know, sugar fine white sand, blue ocean, marine fishing, the whole nine yards. <clears throat> a lot of people wanted to know what happened when I got back, what did I see, what am I experiencing, and all that cool stuff. I actually went live over on Instagram for a little bit um, actually for like two hours today, but, uh, and, and just sat there and talked a little bit about some of these things. So let me flip the camera around so you guys can see, uh, what it is and what's still going on in my aquarium. A couple little spots of, uh, we got some, uh, green algaes plus the stringy stuff. As you guys can see down here, or here, let's look right here on this rock. So, hopefully that comes out good. And there's a better picture. I really don't know, haven't identified what this algae is yet. Maybe you guys uh, might know. Um, it's just like little balls. It almost looks like it's coming out of the rock. This might be uh, the process of uh, stuff leaching out of the rock. Do got to understand though that uh, this is dry rock, but it is also mined rock. So there's still going to be phosphates and stuff like that in here. Here is another picture. Let's get close up for you guys to really check it out. And this is what's going on. It's just like spotty. Just spotting up here. Now this is what it was when I left as well. And over there, as you guys can see. Um, just like balls, almost. So as you guys can see, everything is doing very well. Oh, I did come home and notice that one of the leopard rats is out. I did uh, stir the sand bed a little bit to find the other one. The other one is in there and uh, just doesn't want to come out. And I'll tell you what, they are sure pretty. I'll tell you that. Very, very, very pretty. So, I have this going on in, in a lot of places, obviously. I don't think it's a big concern. Um, here, let's zoom in here. As you can see, coral is encrusting. Sorry for the shakiness. Uh, coral is encrusting. We are getting some encrusting uh, with the corals um, here, whatever. A um, couple of it. But like I said, all this little green spotty stuff, don't know. So, that is what's going on. Now, some of the things people say, well, Rico, that's what you get for not curing your rock. Um, only thing I can add to that is a lot of people kind of say things before they actually truly think about what they're trying to say. Uh, they just say it before they th think about it, should I say, before they say it. Maybe some people should. Um, I'm not going to, first off, A, um, go out and buy some appropriate totes that's going to hold an aquascape that is three feet wide, four feet wide, three feet wide three feet wide by whatever tall, each aquascape to cure a rock. 
okay? Second off, I'm not going to cure all the rocks in totes and then have it out for days while I'm trying to figure out my aquascape and try to aquascape it, drill it, and do all that and have nowhere to put it back in water because now I have dead rock all over again or now dead rock because I started with dry rock. Now I got dead live rock. Uh, it's just not going to happen. On a smaller scale, yes. Probably is a great thing to do is kill your rocks prior to uh, putting them in your aquarium. You can do smaller scapes and yes, you can fit a couple of those smaller scapes in 35 gallon trash cans or whatever without them falling apart or breaking or whatever. Um, but on a larger scale, that's, that's a different thing. Now, one thing I could do is I could have did my aquascape, filled it up water, kept the lights off of it for the next six months, maybe a year. Um, could have had fish in there and kept the fish, letting the fish do their thing in here, but just not knowing any corals. Um, not a process for me neither. Um, just ain't going to enjoy it. So I'm going to deal with this. How am I going to deal with this? Is just let it run its course. Um, keep an eye on it. Make sure everything's everything. Make sure everything's fine. But really just keep an eye on what's going on. That is the best thing that I can do is keep an eye on it. Keep up on my husbandry. And just let it ride. It's an ecosystem that's trying to evolve into a mature establishment. Okay. Now, this is the ugly phases that a lot of people go through when setting up a marine aquarium. Now, I will be honest with you. Never once in 24 years I've ever dealt with that using live rock. just hasn't happened um, ever, ever, ever. And this is the only downside of using dry rock or dead rock. This is the side that I feel that easily, potentially can cause people to A, start doing a bunch of stuff that they have no business doing, um, B, get so frustrated that they just get out the hobby because they don't want to see this. Um, this is just patience. This is the patient game. So what should I do in my marine aquarium? Honestly, absolutely nothing. I should leave it alone let it do its thing and just do what I need to do. Continue to feed the tank. Let the fish, you know, uh, don't starve your fish. Let them eat. Um, just be aware of how much you're adding. Don't do anything that's going to really kick up um, more nutrients problems, more algaes and stuff like that, should I say. Other than that, just leave it alone. The only other thing that I, I can do, which is um, manually remove a lot of the algae that's in there, like manually remove a lot of the green algae, whatever type of algae that is. Uh, like I said, I really don't know uh, right now, but it's in spots. I can really knock it down. I can add some Molly, uh, molly uh, blennies and um, lawnmower blennies and all kinds of other stuff. I can add some stuff that's going to help out with this. Now, crabs and stuff are not going to make it hermit, should I say hermit crabs, are not going to make it. I dumped 40 in here before I left and they're all gone. Rasses. Okay. I can do the snails, try the snails out um, to help eat and keep that down as well. Sorry for the this, uh, this kind of update. Uh, right now, I just got a lot on my plate. And this is the fastest way I can do it. So let me switch around here. So a lot of this stuff is just really the real stringy fine stuff is fine. Uh, you can see a little bit on my clam there. That is okay. But, you know, some of this other stuff, like I said, this right here is a, a great, what you can see, uh, algae don't know exactly what type it is but uh, we'll see I'm gonna take that off so my zoas don't get choked out that is one concern 
that I'll be honest with you. That is a concern that I don't want algae start choking out my corals. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. And go ahead and pick things off, re-glue them down, but clean things up um, to give, uh, to, just to make sure that that doesn't happen. That's the worst thing that can happen is algae starts to choke out your corals, kill your corals. We don't want that. It's already enough money in this hobby to keep things uh, the way they are. The last thing we want is to choke them out. So I'm going to fix that that little bit manually probably get in here and honestly I'll probably pluck a lot of this out uh, as much as possible that's going to be at least an hour or two job just to get that out but just sit back and relax one thing I can say is real quick this uh, torch here is really starting to split and uh, split here so, oops, sorry. So it's, it's folding in to create more heads. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. Now, like I said, it's not much far as, uh, uh, not much far as uh, quality video, but hey, we gotta make it work. So with that being said, guys, that's what's going on. That's what's, uh, what I should do to, uh, my marine aquarium, I don't know what you would do in yours. Uh, let me know if what you would do in this situation here with your own aquarium. What would you do? How would you manage this? What's going on in my marine aquarium? How would you deal with it? What are the options would you choose, the route that you would do to manage what's going on here? So, let me know down in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.